I'm Army Staff Sergeant Steve Engel, and welcome to the Buckeye Guard, a video news magazine highlighting your Ohio National Guard. Our mission statement is when called, we respond with ready units to execute federal, state, and community missions. And with unseasonably warm temperatures in March, we answered that call. After an outbreak of severe storms across southern Ohio, the 1194th Engineering Company deployed to the small village of Moscow. It suffered a severe blow from an F3 tornado that ravaged the town. All you see is debris, trees blown over, houses in pieces, people picking up their belongings. I mean, it's just it's absolutely, it's just horrible. The warmer weather made it a little more pleasant for members of the 371st Special Troops Battalion as they hit the ranges at Camp like Atterbury. Like that. Soldiers yeah. rotated through the ranges to qualify with automatic weapons, and some even got the opportunity to get familiar with weapons they don't normally use. The WWE continued its support for the Guard when they hosted a private reception for new recruits and family members before their show here in Columbus. One of the youngest fans eager to meet the talent was Quinn Vagnier, who also brought his life-size flat daddy photo with him while his dad, Captain John Vagnier, serves in Afghanistan. The Secretary of Defense validated the nation's first Homeland Response Force here in Ohio. And in the event of a natural disaster or terrorist attack, this joint team can deploy anywhere in the United States without notice to assist the local emergency crews. With nine other teams across the country coming on board, Ohio serves FEMA Region 5, which will cover the Midwestern states. Thanks from the bottom of my heart for what you do. Think about it, chemical, biological, nuclear. Uh, these are the kind of things that these folks are trained to do, and they're the best in the country right now. Among all the Guard units, all in America, we're number one. As part of our state partnership program, Serbia's Ministry of Defense's Military Health Department paid a visit to hospitals across the state. Brigadier General Steve Markovich led the tour from Cleveland to Cincinnati, and on their trip, they stopped off in Columbus to visit Riverside Methodist Hospital. The plan for this visit, to develop new ideas for health care back home in Serbia. After taking office as the Assistant Adjutant General for Army just over one year ago, Brigadier General John Harris officially received his promotion at Beetler Armory. That's 11,400 people that count on us every day because they've made the sacrifice and said, we'll stop up any day to do the mission of our nation even if that means laying down our lives if we have to. If they're the ones who said, if you, my nation, if my state needs me at four in the morning, I'll get up and I'll be the one to go. And for that, we owe them the very best we can deliver. And I understand that that's my charge, and I'll come to work with that on my mind every day. The Department of Defense's proposed budget cuts could impact the 179th Airlift Wing. Even though the new C-27 aircraft has only been on ground for a short time, it's part of the proposed cuts. If Ohio loses this mission, it could impact over 790 jobs and close the base in Mansfield. Because without having the aircraft on the ramp, if we don't have an aircraft to keep here, there's no need for us to be on this runway. We'll probably keep a small enclave where our Red Horse and our Army forces are, but there, we would not be able to save this base because there's not a backfill mission for this unit if they lose this aircraft. This wraps up this edition of the Buckeye Guard. Watch for our cameras because it could be your story that we tell next. I'm Army Staff Sergeant Steve Engel. Thanks for watching.